walk for us through the trial design and the participants who was involved? Yeah, absolutely. So, so our our study was a, a very small um, human trial in patients with Alzheimer's disease, um, and I think I I think I actually left out a little bit uh, whenever from your first question where you asked what was the what is the preclinical data out there. So we did a human trial. There are some there are some mouse studies that exist with and there it's just very few, but they're they've been positive. Um, and what some of these mouse studies with high dose creatine have shown is that um, if you give creatine to these mice that are genetically modified to have an Alzheimer's sort of condition, that it improves their brain energy metabolism in both males and females. Um, it improves some of the biomarkers that we're really interested in Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's disease, like amyloid and tau. Um, those are really important primary components of the of the disease itself. Um, and then it also had it's had some memory improvement um, in females only. So there's some really interesting, like from this pre preclinical data, there's some really interesting sex based differences that um, we probably need to consider going forward with some of our studies. So that helped inform why we did the study that we did along with the our knowledge about brain energy metabolism changes. So we decided it was time to take some of this preclinical data into a very small uh, pilot study with uh, patients that have Alzheimer's disease. Um, and so we designed this to mostly figure out whether we could uh, get our patients to follow the, the intervention. Um, so that was the primary aim of the study. And then we also um, collected some data to see whether or not we saw a signal for improvements in the things that we would be interested in seeing. So did we see some cognitive improvements? Did we see, um, did we see some energy metabolism improvements? Was the creatine getting to the brain um, was another big question that we had. Um, and then we had some other questions in there about um, whether or not uh, we had saw some improvements in some um, peripheral outcomes like muscle performance and um, muscle size. Um, so this study was, it had 20 patients with Alzheimer's disease in it. Everybody got the intervention, which was 20 grams of creatine per day. And they did that for eight weeks. So there was no control arm. That is a big limitation to our study. One of the benefits we have with Alzheimer's disease is it's a progressive uh, disease. And generally we don't expect over time, we don't expect to see improvements. So that sort of helps us be able to do studies like this where we only have a single arm, but it is still very limited relative to that because we, we did not have a control to compare it to. And it is a very small sample size as well. Um, and what we, what we found with this was um, that uh, our patients were able to follow the intervention. So everybody had, we had great compliance with it. And then we uh, saw that some domains of cognition improved after eight weeks of creatine. Uh, so we saw memory uh, improvement. We saw some executive function improvement. And then we interestingly saw this improvement in, in a crystallized cognitive domain, which was a, an oral reading uh, task um, where the, the participants that we had in the study could read the words with uh, appropriately better uh, after consuming the, the creatine, which was a very interesting uh, outcome as well. And uh, we're working on some, some publications right now where uh, we've, we also saw that, uh, that from that, our initial paper that we published, um, we also saw that the creatine was indeed getting to the brain. We saw an 11% increase in brain creatine levels um, before and after the uh, intervention. And then we saw, uh, we have some papers under that are in preparation right now um, that suggests that uh, energy metabolism improved. Um, and then my postdoc just had a paper that was published um, that showed that there were some muscular improvements as well. Hand grip strength went up and um, in some of the muscle mass was increased. So there are some really interesting preliminary findings from this. Um, again, I always urge caution with the uh, interpretation of this because we didn't have a control group. We had a small, uh, um, a small sample size, but these were the types of signals that we were hoping to see if um, whether or not creatine would be valuable. 
Um, and then all of this goes to serve as new data that helps us better understand whether we should keep studying creatine in the context of Alzheimer's disease or not. Um, and it looks like from what we saw here that it is that it is worth taking a look at.